Hi, I'm Gary Rubenstein. This is part five of the uh, geometry regions from June 2010. Question 37 says to write an equation of the circle whose diameter AB has endpoints uh, A is negative 4, 2, uh, and B is 4, negative 4. So our endpoints of the diameter are negative 4, 2, and B is 4, negative 4. I'm going to use this graph, it's optional, but let's take a look at what's going on in this question. If these are my axes, and I plot the point negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, that's point A, and point B is at 4, negative 4, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this diagonal line is a diameter of some, some circle. Well, the two things you need for the equation of a circle, if that's what it's asking, they want to know the equation. Well, the two things you need to know are the, um, the center of the circle and the radius of the circle. And those are two things we can figure out pretty easily. The center of the circle is going to be the midpoint of line segment AB. Well, to get the midpoint, we find the average of the two x-coordinates. So minus 4 plus 4 over 2 is 0 over 2 equals 0. That's going to be the x-coordinate of the midpoint. And the y-coordinate of the midpoint is going to be the average of the y-values. So it's 2 plus negative 4 over 2, which equals negative 1. So the midpoint is 0 minus 1 over there. Now the other thing we need is the radius. And there are different ways to get the radius, but I'm going to do it with the distance formula. So to, uh, the radius is on the diameter here. So the distance from any from the center to any point on the circle will be the radius. And I'll just go to that. I'm going to find the distance, this distance here, between A and N. So the distance formula, to remind you, is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So using uh, this is point 1 and this is point 2, I'll have 0 minus 4, which is 4 squared, which is 16, plus minus 1 minus 2 is negative 3 squared is 9 becomes square root of 25, which equals 5. Now, now that we have the, uh, the radius identified and the center identified, formula for the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. h is the uh, x-coordinate of the center, and k is the y-coordinate of the center. That makes the answer to this question x minus 0. I just write x squared. y minus k. k is negative, so it turns into y minus negative 1, which is y plus 1 squared equals. It's funny, uh, r squared was actually already calculated over here, 25. And that is your answer for question number 37. Uh, part 4, these questions are worth a lot of points. So question number 38 is worth six points. Let's take a look here. In the diagram below, quadrilateral STAR is a rhombus with diagonals SA and TR intersecting at E. ST, this looks like it says equals 3x minus 30, or 3x plus 30. You can see it here. Um, SR equals 8x minus 5, SE equals 3z, and TE is 5z plus 5, and AE is 4z minus 8 minus 3. And measure of angle R T A is 5y minus 2, and measure of angle T A S is 9y, that's a plus, 
Let's see. And they want us to find a bunch of things, S, R, R, T, and T, A, S. <coughs> well, a rhombus is a special kind of parallelogram. Now, parallelograms have certain properties that you should be aware of. For instance, the opposite sides are parallel. The opposite sides are congruent. The diagonals bisect each other. And the opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. These are all things that are true about parallelograms. But when something's a rhombus, it has an extra three properties. One property of a rhombus is that the um, all four sides are equal. So if all four sides are equal, that means we can say that 3x plus 30 has to equal 8x minus 5. Add 5 to both sides, subtract 3x from both sides, divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 7. Now if x equals 7, then 8x minus 5 is 56 minus 5, which is 51. And just to check, 3x plus 30 is 21 plus 30, which is also 51. So I figured out what SR was. Now they want to know about RT, this diagonal here. Uh, in general, in a parallelogram, the diagonals are not uh, congruent. They do bisect each other, though. So let's see. RT, we have this 51 here. Hmm. Let's see. Well, in any parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. That means that this has to equal this, which means that 3z has to equal 4z minus 8. Subtract 3z from both sides, add 8 to both sides, and we get z equals 8. And they want to know how big rt is. Well, if z equals 8, then et is 5 times z, which is 5 times 8 plus 5, which is 45, which means rt, which is double et, that's also 45, would be 90. And finally, they want to know what measure of angle TAS is. Mm -hmm. The third property of a rhombus, so so far we've used the fact that all the sides of a rhombus are congruent. Another property of a rhombus is that the uh, diagonals bisect the uh, bisect, bisect the, the angles. But that's, that's not going to be used for this, I wanted to mention it as, a third, as another thing. The final thing that's true of a rhombus is, in a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular. So if you have perpendicular lines, you have a right angle here, which means um, to get angle TAS, this angle here, we need to figure out what Y is. The way we get Y is by recognizing that this here is a right triangle. And we know it has a 90 degree angle, that means the other two angles have to also add up to 90 degrees. In other words, 9y plus 8 plus 5y minus 2 has to equal 90. Because 14y plus 6 equals 90. Uh, subtract 6 from both sides, 14y equals 84. Divide both sides by 7, by 14, sorry, and get 7. Now that y is identified, we can plug the 7 into here, 9 times 7 plus 8 is 63 plus 8, which is 71, which is the other answer. And that's the answer to question 38. That was actually quite an involved question, and that's why it was worth uh, 6 points. Remember, the Regents is out of 80-something, so 6 points is really more like, like 10 points. And that does it for the Geometry Regents uh, from June 2010. Uh, I hope this is helped you get a feel for what sorts of things are on the test. Since I have a couple more seconds, I'll tell you that if something's a rectangle, here we saw a question where rhombus was mentioned and you had to get those extra three properties. If rectangle is mentioned, it means that you have right angles and you have the diagonals are congruent to each other. That's sort of in case the rectangle comes up. Okay, that's it. Hope you liked it.